Hi, my name is Rosie Flores Fallen. This is week 11. And after watching the survivor who spoke out, um, Lena, um, was very inspired by her story. And my culturally competent safety and intervention plan and termination plan um, is that I would definitely create a safety plan, assist her in creating a safety plan um, by getting, you know, she said, she said um, towards the end of, of her story that she had already planned on leaving until that incident happened. She was kind of forced to do it then. Um, but definitely if she was, um, had reached out for help, I would definitely help her with the safety plan by get, you know, asking her to maybe get copies of all her documents and take them to family members. Um, as she said, her family members love her and don't be embarrassed by sharing, um, with them what was going on. And then maybe getting a suit pack, a suitcase pack for her and her children and getting it ready to go. Maybe even taking it to her family's house so it's ready. Um, double set of keys, maybe changing her bank information, um, taking care of all of these different strategies to set up um, a way for her to get out quickly. Um, she said that her, her husband strangled her um, until she passed out and um, one of the strategies would have been for her to stay away from the kitchen or stay away from wherever there's sharp objects, but he actually used his own hands. And when it comes to that, I don't know um, how you would keep yourself safe from somebody who's probably bigger than you and stronger than you, um, other than leaving before an, an incident like that occurs. Um, that's what's really hard. So I think that um, having the safety plan of maybe um, talking to her children about where to run if things happen, um, maybe going to the neighbor's house and calling 911, or ha and maybe even talking to the neighbors about what might be going on and having a speed dial number or having giving the um, the neighbors a family number so they can call to, so they can pick up the children, um, you know, telling children to run next door if they see something like this happening. Um, call the police, call 911, uh, maybe creating a safety word um, as well, a phrase or a signal as well um, to the children to call the police. Um, I also believe that uh, that the, you know, of course the, the bank accounts and, um, you know, maybe hiding an extra phone somewhere, um, send the bills to another address. Those are all long-term um, plans, but uh, for inter it, they would still work if if that was the case, you know. Um, for interventions, you know, kind of providing shelters um, or first response teams, she said that she, real she didn't realize that there was so much help out there for for battered women and their children. Um, and there's so many shelters and there's also transitional housing for women and children in the area in Riverside County. And um, I actually have numbers myself. So um, that is a very good in intervention. Um, try to place your client somewhere, you know, um, where they would be safe. Other interventions um, for her and her children would be individual counseling, for her and her children, um, empowerment counseling, art therapy, support groups for her and her children, um, children's services, um, and um, really honing in on, on when meeting with Lena, um, definitely letting her know that I wouldn't be the end all be all and that I would be providing a warm handoff to uh, the next person I was just there to um, help with the interventions in the beginning and that ultimately she would she would be moved to a more stable environment with um, a long-term um, you know place where she can get the supportive services that she and her children need um, and um, steps to termination that would be one of them and you know uh, reviewing highlighted changes, you know, anything discussing next steps with her, always um, discussing being open and honest with Lena 
about um, what's going to be happening next. So that way she's not in fear of the unknown, um, in fear that someone's leaving her, um, and never and always having a warm handoff, always providing a warm handoff and make sure that she feels safe with the next person that comes in to assist her in, in her needs. Thank you.